Is it rare for a 70-year-old to not have gray or white hair? Is that lifestyle or genetics? It's definitely on the rarer side. By the time most people hit their 70s, they've usually got the classic salt and pepper look, if not a full head of silver. Now let's get down to brass tacks. Is this a matter of genetics, lifestyle, or perhaps a secret pact with supernatural forces? It's largely genetics. Here's the deal. The pigment in your hair is produced by cells called melanocytes. As you get older, melanocytes gradually shut down and the pigment in your hair fades, hence the universal trend towards gray and white with age. But not everyone follows this pattern at the same pace. Some people have melanocytes that hold out longer than others, a trait that is usually handed down through the family tree. Science tells us that if your parents went gray early, you're more likely to follow suit, a bit of family legacy that doesn't come with a trust fund. Now, could lifestyle play a role? It's a minor one if it does. Sure, there are all sorts of claims out there about stress, diet, or yoga routines that can postpone gray hair, but solid scientific proof is scarce. What we eat and how we live can affect all sorts of things about our bodies. But when it comes to the color of your hair, those factors are backstage while genetics is center stage, rocking out the main performance. Take Portland, Oregon, where I'm based. You'll find lots of folks who prioritize healthy living. They're jogging the waterfront, hitting the farmer's markets, doing yoga in the park. But even in this temple of health and well-being, the silver waves are a-flowing among the over-70 crowd. You just can't fight Mother Nature on this one. She's the undefeated champ. Now, if you're 70 with not a single gray hair, consider yourself part of an elite club. You've either got some fantastic genes or you've found an amazing colorist who deserves a Christmas bonus.